This lesson will show how to graph the following 2D vector fields using CalcPlot 3D. The CalcPlot 3D URL is shown below. Let's first graph the vector field where the x component is negative x and the y component is y. Following the URL, by default we have the following surfaced graph. Let's go ahead and clear this by clicking the small x to the right of the equation. Then click on Select under Add to Graph and select Vector Field. We enter the X component under M, the Y component under N, and the Z component under P. Because we have 2D vector fields, we will leave P equal to zero. So for the first vector field, the X component is negative X, we enter M equals negative X. The Y component is Y, we enter N equals Y. To turn the plot on, we click the box next to the M, and because we have a 2D vector field, let's click the box below to restrict view to 2D. Notice on the right we have a nice graph of the 2D vector field. However, we can customize the graph. Notice below the equations we have scale vectors by dividing by. By default, we're dividing by four. If we change the four to a two, the vectors get longer. If we change the two to a six, the vectors get shorter. Let's change the scaling back to dividing by four. We can also change the number of vectors graphed on the vector field by changing the number of vectors along the x and y axes. For example, if I change the nines to thirteens, notice we have a more dense vector field. There's also an option below to use fixed lengths for all vectors. One other nice feature about the vector field is if we click on the vector field, it'll show the flow line from a particular point. Before we graph the next vector field, let's change the number of vectors along the x and y axes back to nine. And now let's graph the vector field where the x component is x and the y component is one. So we simply change m to m equals x and n equals to one and press enter. And we have the new vector field. If you do want to change the color of the vectors, you can click on the bar next to the N and P and select a different color. And again, if we click on the vector field, we can see the flow line from a particular point. And now let's graph the vector field where the X component is X squared minus Y squared minus four and the Y component is two XY. We enter m equals x squared minus y squared minus four, tab m equals two xy. And remember to graph the new vector field, we do have to press enter. This looks a little bit messy. Let's change the scaling by dividing by six to make the vectors shorter. Let's try eight. And now we have a nice graph of the given vector field. Again, if we click on a point, we can see the flow line from that point. And for the last vector field, the x component is sine of the quantity x plus y, and the y component is cosine of the quantity x minus y. And therefore we enter m equals sine of the quantity x plus y, n equals cosine of the quantity x minus y. Enter. So notice here the vectors are very short. So let's change the scaling from dividing by eight to dividing by, let's try four, let's try two, and let's try three. This looks pretty good. So you may have to play with the scaling as well as the number of vectors along the x and y axes to get the graph you desire. And again, here we have the flow line from a particular point. I hope you found this helpful.